Hello everyone, welcome back to another Blender tutorial. In this tutorial we will be making a bookshelf like the one you see on screen. We'll be modeling the books and modeling the bookshelf. So uh, it's a pretty beginner tutorial, so if you're new to Blender this will appeal to you. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing that you want to do is open a new scene in Blender, delete the light and the camera so that you just have a cube. And now we want to scale this cube to the size of our book. I'm going to make sure to scale the z-axis as well, unless you want a really thick, chunky book. Now what you want to do is add a loop cut in the middle of that. And grab that out and move it. And bevel that with Control v Click down here on the left where it has all these options. Change the offset so it's just touching the tip up here. And change the segments to 9 or however many segments you want. Now we want to remove the insides of the book so we can add pages. Let's just add two loop cuts here. Select faces, grab this and move it back. Then you want to extrude out a little bit and scale along the y-axis and then extrude that forwards. Now that you've got your book we can shade smooth and rotate that 90 degrees. Now we can start modeling our shelf. It's going to be a pretty simple shelf. Just add in a cube and scale that to the size of your shelf. So I'm going to have quite a small shelf, so not many books. And just add a loop cut like I'm doing here. That way you will be able to scale this along the x-axis and have a little edge to it. Now what you want to do is duplicate your book and I notice the books are the wrong way around so I'm just going to rotate that 180 degrees. Anyway, so you grab your book and make it look different, so scale it like that, scale it along the z-axis and just make every book look different, maybe thicker, taller, shorter, whatever you want. Now what I'm going to do is that we've got these books here. I'm just going to rotate this one so it's kind of leaning off the other ones and that just gives it that kind of natural look. And then you've got your small little bookshelf here. Now we can move on to texturing. Okay, so texturing. Click on your shading tab up here and make sure you're on material preview and we're going to start with the shelf. So just click new texture and import any wooden texture that you want. So I'm just going to use this wood texture off Polygon. It's a good website, you should get some stuff off there. And I'm just going to select everything, do Smart UV Projection and OK. Now this will just make it look less um, fake, kind of, with the UV maps. That's not a very good way of describing it, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, so now we can move on texturing the books, which is what this video is about. We need to add a new material. Okay, so material 2. Now, uh, in the description I'll leave a bunch of images of book covers and book spines. So just go down there and download that, and that will have a folder that looks like this. So the folder should look something like this. It's got a bunch of book covers in it, and that's just the book cover and the spine. So you can go and use these as your textures. Uh, so the first one I'm going to use is this first one. So open up our file explorer and just put that into Blender and the color into the base color. Make sure the roughness isn't at middle so it's a bit higher. Now we have to UV unwrap it. So select all the spine and make sure you have the UV, uh, UV editor here. and just scale that to the size of the spine and the face. So let's select that face now. And just do this for every single book. Uh, the more books you have, the harder or the longer time you need to take on this. But uh, with this many books, it shouldn't take too long. So I'll get back to you once I've done all of them.
Okay, so I've UV unwrapped the pictures, and it looks like this. And I've only done the things that you you can see. So, for an example, I haven't done like this side of that book because you can't see it, and that's all good. Now, what we're going to do is position the camera and get ready to render. So, go ahead and go back into your layout mode, a bit in material preview and add in your camera and move it with a lock camera to view uh, that's just what I prefer but if you move it another way you can now let's add in the background so add in a plane rotate that along the y-axis by 90 degrees and move that to the back and scale that upwards Okay, now we can add in a texture to this. So go back into your shadings and add in a texture. So I'm just going to add in this castle wall slates from Texture Haven. Now, just put the roughness into here. You guys know all this. Okay, now we can add in a HGRI. So just go in and add an environment texture. Now go into rendered preview and switch it to cycles. And you can go ahead and render. Okay, so this is our final render. I think it looks quite good. Uh, if you have any suggestions of what tutorial I should do next, leave it in the comments below, and I might do that one. And as always, if you made it to the end of the video, comment 34, and I will give your comment a heart. And as always, I've been Kaleidoscope. Thank you for watching.